Let's look at this function y equals 2x to the fifth minus 5x squared plus 1. We want to find when it's increasing, decreasing, locate its relative extrema, find when it's concave up, down, and locate its inflection points. Um, as usual, we start this by essentially taking the derivative, which will give us the increasing, decreasing bits. y prime is 10x to the fourth minus 10x. So y prime equal to zero implies 10x to the fourth minus 10x equals zero. We want a critical point, so we want y prime undefined or zero. It's never undefined, so let's just set it equal to zero. We can divide through by the 10. And factor out x. Remember that you really do not want to divide through by x. Otherwise, you'll lose the root x equals zero. And then x cubed minus one equals zero means x cubed is one. There are, of course, three cube roots of one, but only one of them is real, namely one. So we can draw a sign chart now for x and y prime, zero and one being our critical points. Let's plug some numbers in here, say two, a half, and minus one. And remember that we only need to plug it back in here. This is actually different from y prime by a factor of 10. 10 is positive, so it won't change the sign. That means we can do this and not go back to the original polynomial. Um, plugging in 2 gives me 2 times 7. That's positive. Plugging in 1 half gives me 1 half, and a half cubed is like 1 over 8. So this is negative. So the whole thing becomes negative. Plugging in minus 1 gives me negative here. Negative 1 cubed is ne still negative 1. So negative times negative, that's positive. And so we have increasing, decreasing, and increasing. Increasing and followed by decreasing means a relative maximum. And decreasing followed by increasing means a relative minimum. Which gives us now the first half of what we need. Let's look at y double prime. Remember y prime is 10x to the fourth minus 10x. So y double prime would just be its derivative 40x cubed minus 10. And setting y double prime equal to 0 means that 40x cubed minus 10 is 0. 40x cubed is 10. 4x cubed is 1. Remember we can remember that we can just take um, divide both sides by 10. x cubed is 1 quarter. That means at the x value we want, the only real x value is the cube root of 1 quarter. It's a little um, unwieldy, but remember that when we do the sign chart, we don't actually plug the cube root of 1 quarter back into y double prime. We actually plug in things around it. If you don't know what the cube root of 1 quarter is, that's fine. You, it's easy to see it's less than 1. You could use you could plug in twenty if you feel unsure, um, but we also know that it's positive, so putting in zero on the left makes sense. So let's do this. Um, plugging in one into forty x cubed minus ten gives us thirty, so that's positive. While we're at it, plugging in zero gives us negative ten. That's negative. It's negative here and positive here. So it's down here and up here, which makes a lot of sense since if you look at it, the relative max is at zero, and so it should be concave down there. And relative min is at one, it should be concave up there. In fact, this is an inflection point because it changes inflect well, it inflects here, it changes concavity. So let's see. We have the function is decreasing on, let's write down the answer. 
it's decreasing on well, from zero to one on the interval zero one. It's increasing on negative infinity zero and one to infinity. There's a relative max at x equals zero, relative min at x equals one. And finally, it's concave down on negative infinity to the cube root of one quarter. It's concave up on cube root of one quarter to infinity. And the inflection point is at x equals cube root of one quarter. So this list, which actually takes up the entire screen, is the answer that we're looking for.